and welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Demacia Sacrifice, bringing this deck back. This is a deck I really like to play. It's a nice proactive deck um, that can also generate a lot of value. We have a lot of creatures that, that generate value and we get to play Lucian and Callista, two champions that are pretty sweet that don't see a ton of play. Um, and yeah, and so like we're, we're playing those. The new thing that I have in this deck now is I'm putting Scythria at the top end. That's kind of the new thing that I'm going with and going with a little bit less of the sacrifice, just a little bit less. I'm going down, I'm down to one Undying now. There's just so many times where the Undying um, is too slow against kind of everything. And so I'm, we're just playing one um, in here and we're going down to two Blighted Caretakers because we can run out of room. Also, I've, I've noticed with Blighted Caretaker this card isn't as strong as I originally thought, basically because of that, because of your, um, only, because you only have access to six slots across the board and Blighted Caretaker taking up three slots. But it's still really good. It can it can flip Callista by itself, and it can get you three fourths of the way towards flipping Lucian by itself. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of combining some great Demacia cards like Grizzled Ranger. Uh, with some really good Shadow Isles value cards, like Chronicler of Ruin. And we just get a lot of value in this deck. So here we go. Let's go play some Demacia Sacrifice. Going to go play five games over in ranked. And I think we're going to do pretty good. I like this deck. I think it's good. All right. need to... need to edit the Mobile Addicts, though, because I forgot to make it two Caretaker, three... There we go. Okay, what are we playing against? Twisted Fate, Fizz, Lee Sin. Gonna mulligan that. Um, not sure if I want to mulligan that or not. I'll keep it. But I feel like I should maybe be mulliganing it. Attack. Okay. All right, and everything's set up. Good to go. Here we go. Let's get a win. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. No blocks. I definitely wish I would have mulliganed it. Of course, I didn't have the Cursed Keeper at the time. But I'm going with the Callista so that whenever I play Chronicler of Ruin, that gets one uh, ally die towards level up Callista. And then we can also have like the Glimpse Beyond be a second one. We'll go with this Undying. Let's give it a try. Shot. 
I hope this works. No. They took my one concerted strike. Well, that's unfortunate. Sentinels of light don't fear the dark. They took my one concerted strike. It's too late for you. To kill Callista. They are, you know, kind of a slower control deck. Maybe these Undyings can get a lot of work in. Maybe. We'll have to see. where we are right now. I like where we are, but... Um... Clear your head. Let your instincts speak. So they have one blocker. What is gained when you return malevolence? All right, down to three. I think I'm just gonna cast like Glimpse Beyond right now. Yeah, like all they're doing is drawing. Don't really have a need for playing like, you know, Tracker or Senna or Curse Keeper right now. If they don't remove Sithria, it's gonna to be tough for them to survive the next turn, but you know, they have they have a whole lot of cards and they have a whole lot of mana before then. So I mean though, I wish we could go I wish we could go farther than six wide. That'd be nice. Okay, yeah, I Okay, Sage Mister. So yeah, you used to try too much two War Mothers to Atrocity. What about like zero War Mothers to Atrocity? I definitely understand not not playing more than two of those cards, or or one and two. You know, like I I don't think I'd want I wouldn't want two War Mothers. I, I like how you have one. I think that that's a zero or one, and I think Atrocity is a, a one or two. You know, a one or two of. So yeah, like one and one is, is definitely in that range, you know, but I think that War Mother's Call, you either play zero or one, and Atrocity, you either play one or two. I will not hold back. Prepare yourself. Lee Sin's just too big. I can't. I can't fight Lee Sin.
I do have three Scythrias in the deck. There's a chance there's 20 cards left. There's a chance that we just draw another Scythria. And we have six mana still. We get to replay it. Yeah, having Atrocity countered the last couple of games. Yeah, the Ionia matchups are, are just pretty difficult. For sure. Yeah, because this is going to get a barrier. So that's not going to take damage. I'm going to kill this Eye of the Dragon. Don't let them get the 2 1 lifesteal blocker. All right, well, I have six lethal attackers, and they have four blockers. That's good. Act free of doubt. You act, but do not see. Fire beware. It's not good. Why can't we go wider? I will not hold back. I'll see this we, need, we need to go wider than six. I have the mana to, to play anything I want next turn anyway. Cool. And yeah, Sage Mister, feel free to, to um to put that in like the it's probably good to put that in like the YouTube comments. You know, to say, hey, this is this is my deck and you know these are a couple of things about it. Of cards they've drawn has been pretty crazy. They've played all three pilfered goods, all three black market merchants. Like, I think two salvages. They've drawn a crazy number of cards. I'm pretty jealous. All three black market merchant and all three pilfered goods is it's just the dream. So I go down to four. All right, throw something in front and go to six. Best and worst region. Um, worst region is Noxus. 
And the best is... Probably Bilgewater. Also, maybe Ionia. I think PNZ and Shadow Isles are a little bit below Ionia and Bilgewater. That's true. Demacia, that's that's fair. Demacia could be. Demacia could be considered the best region. The thing about Demacia is it, it usually just doesn't play very well with, with kind of any of the other regions. But it's it's definitely the enemies. best mono region. Like the best mono region deck you can make is with Demacia. I don't think Freljord's the worst. No, I, I think Noxus is worse than Freljord. They stole like my that one uh, that one of uh, removal spell that was awesome. I guess they stole one of my single combats. They stole atrocity. Really did a good job of stealing like my my spells that get ahead because I don't I don't have very many spells, but they stole a lot of them. I think Freljord's the most under underrated region because a lot of people think it's the worst, but I have I have a lot of success with different Freljord decks. I think it's a pretty good region. Elixir of Iron is arguably the best non... Mm, I guess there's Grizzled Ranger. Second best non-champion in the game. There's Grizzled Ranger. Hey, we're playing like a, the same kind of deck. I, I haven't played against a Demacia uh, Shadow Oz deck and you know, a couple of weeks, and so we play one, and then we just play against one. Yeah, I guess there's there's some other good ones. There's, like, Pilfered Goods and Black Market Merchant. I guess those are up there, too. Elixir of Iron is just brutally efficient. Keep these. We don't have a very easy deck to sequence. Filthy creatures. Stand and fight. Problem is if, is if I don't block, we're going to be taking a ton of damage over, you know, like that seven there, and then I would be priced into not blocking again. We shall not rest 
Taking 12. If I don't block. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now. That was a good hand they had. The same cards that I have, but they have a better hand for sure. I'm I'm sad we had to play this matchup. deck I haven't seen so many people play in like weeks and you know we just play against a mirror match where they just have a lot better hand and so then we lose. It's a sad loss. Did I keep this undying in hand? There's no way, right? No, no, yeah, I got it off a of mulligan. Uh, Grizzled Ranger definitely beats no Grizzled Ranger. Right. Unfortunately, that means they have another Callista, and I don't have a Withering Whale to stop them. So, GG's. Oh, maybe not. Weird. That's kind of weird. Hmm. Uh, maybe not that weird. I don't know. So, like, Fleet Feather Tracker is, like, a good card that I could draw. Let's have a blocker. Definitely wish I had one more mana and I could Chronicler of Ruin this. That would be awesome. We each died, then found hope. Oh, well, game's over. I'm what nightmares fear. Time to get rowdy. I don't think they're planning on any region rotations. No, I think that they're going to have all 10 regions in the game. You just have the game be pretty vast, I suppose. Well, 
that's really unfortunate. I'm really sad about that. They're playing basically the same deck, but just had a lot better hand. You know, I had three of all the cards that they played early. That they they just had them and I didn't. And you know, so they win. That's how that's how it works. But you know, like I'd rather test my deck against other things. You know, <laughs> to like to be like, oh, you well, that's that's another loss. This deck's not good. It's like, well, we just lost a mirror. Like it's 50-50. I could have had those cards, and they could have had the other half of their deck. Keeping Ravenous Butcher gives us a really high upside if we find a Cursed Keeper. But the problem is if we don't have Cursed Keeper, it could be bad. Man, we are drawing this Undying every single game. I've had this like in our opener every game. I just have one of them in here because it's... And it hasn't been that good. It's There's times where it's good, but there's a lot of times where it's not. So I, you know, it used to be a 3 of, and I've cut it down to just one because of that. We shall their ass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, when you're playing a rare deck and then just end up with a mirror match. That is, especially, like, where it's a mirror match where it's a loss. So, like, yeah, you know, a lot of people just kind of, like, look at the records first and then decide if they want to watch the video or not. And they'll be like, oh, this deck's 0-2. My trade in? Yeah, we trade in. You know, we just ran into a mirror match that had a lot, a lot better hand, and we ran into a, the Twisted Fate deck that that really had like that really ran the dream. They had all three Black Market Merchants and all three Pilfer Goods. That is like the complete dream. Right, let's miss some Here we go. Slow down, will you? And now my opponent probably just has like Vimerdinger. Or sorry, not Viper Dinger. Should probably just has Vi. Vi? Yep, they have Vi. My opponents just have everything. Like that's like if they don't have Vi this turn, there's no way they're winning this game. The only way they win this game is like if they have Vi this turn. Now they have a chance. I guess if they had Heimerdinger this turn also, because I don't have removal for Heimerdinger, and then they could make a bunch of turrets when they untap. That that would give them a chance also. They definitely need to curve like that into one of the champions. When we played Vimerdinger, we were not having the champions. All right, let's stop complaining. Try to win this game. I wonder if I should just take out the Undying completely from this deck. So I play Lucian, they challenge Lucian. Don't get in my way. That's okay. I mean, I'll make that trade. Obviously, they could have like a twin disciplines or something like that that would make my life worse. But I'm going with the upside of playing the Lucian first so that then, you know, I Chronicler. And that's one of the four. So many years, so many years. Grim. really surprising that they didn't do anything. Okay, now they're doing something.
Sorry, Lucian. Surprising they didn't do that previously. Like, that they were just willing to pass with seven mana. And I like that. I like to see that because I don't really care about these two cards. So I like to see that so they're not killing other things with that get excited. That's a get excited and a will of Ionia gone. Everyone's a garden. So obviously I'm just gonna be going for lethal here. Alright, sweet. Pull you know, pull the Vi over to the end. Jeez. See, I feel like our deck's been playing pretty well. But we're one and two. Alright, so with Karma Lux, card that I'm worried about is... What I'm worried about is uh, Radiant Guardian. Gotta be worried about that one. Come on, Curse Keeper. It's friend Lucian. They're probably not friends. <laughs> that's that's good. Got a two drop. It's very aggressive. I'd be more scared to do this against like a a dem like a PNZ deck. Ionia Demacia doesn't really have the same kind of removal. This is mercy. Slow down, will you? They're as good as dead. You're adorable. All right, Legendary, what would you like me to change the bet to? Time to get rowdy. Really? They're just letting me block. Purity and peace. They're just cool with that. All right, change it to the shark. All right, we got the shark up next. That's got to be like Radiant Guardian, right? Not Radiant Guardian? Should 
too. We should too. I suppose. Ah, shut up. Hmm. I guess I should have just withering will to start with, shouldn't I? I was thinking they were gonna block with the Lux, and then I was gonna do that. Should've just done that to begin with. Um that's still my best play. Even though I kind of messed it up, it's still my best play. I kind of messed that up. You're going to have another single combat? Don't do that. All right, two for Callista. Definitely wish I had one more mana. Like I could go rekindle or plus uh, Glimpse Beyond because we'd have an insane turn. Like, you know, get Lucian back, uh, sack the rekindler, level up Callista, Callista attack, put rekindler back into play. Get another Lucian. Now they have to kill Lucian. If they kill Lucian, then my Callista levels up. So they have to kill that too. No. Alright, that's cool. I've been hiding my oh wait, too never mind. Not cool. Not cool. Man, if I just had one more mana. Now Lux is gonna win this. Man, if I would have just would have just played that Withering Whale pre-combat, that would have really helped. Yeah, it's like, I'm winning, then zero mana, four damage. Never mind, I'm losing. Senna is Demacian, yes. I no, Senna did not change allegiance when she was captured by Thresh, as far as I know. I think Thresh killed her, as far as I know. I guess the good thing about a two mana draw two is Lux only has two out of six.
They have a third single combat? Stop. Stop. Or at least their decks like out of removal, like fast speed removal, right? Like single combat's their only fast speed removal spell, as far as I know. They've used all of them. <sighs> Come on. I can't have one more mana. To get the thing that attacks for eight? That's what they get in this spot? Best possible card. So, you know, hoping to do the one damage to this elk so that the first attack with Lucian kills it. Pretty surprised they had nothing else to play with five cards. They chose nothing else to play, at least. Caretaker is a good draw. Well, potentially a good draw. I should say. It'll be pretty close. Yeah, Lucian only rallies once each turn. Only whenever the first thing dies for your turn. So if Lucian levels up after things already died, and then you kill something else after Lucian leveled up, you, you know, you don't get to rally. You only rally the first time something dies. Oh wait, whoops, I have to say card. This will 
be served. We, we shall not rest until all betrayers. All three of those single combats were huge that they had. But also just like the the two mana draw twos have been really big too. Like that card is super good. That's a card that people don't really talk about very much. Two mana draw two. That you know in I in Ionia we just have to play the two spells. That card's really good. Like when people talk about like why is control so good? There's a chill in the air. It's not something that people mention very much. In a long path to get you. Man, I'm really sad. I was just really looking forward to playing this deck. I thought it was going to be good, and I think it is good. It's just my my opponents have just had either the right answers, or the right cards, you know, all that kind of stuff. Like it's sad. <laughs> I, was, I was really hoping that we were going to do well with this deck. How do we play another mirror match? We played two Demacia Shadow Isles decks. I haven't played a Demacia Shadow Isles deck in weeks, and we play against two of them in this video. Why? Well, at least we're doing nothing, so that's probably going to win. I trade Callistos if they want, which they do not. So two cards left. Could have Vile Feast if I try one of these things to kill their Callista. Our 
My best play is the concerted strike, though. I'm gonna go for it. And obviously they have Vile Feast. Which is the absolute best card. Now if I want a Withering Whale, I kill two things and level up Callista. A single combated, you know, is much worse high end, but it would is a lot better low end where I would have played Glimpse Beyond at least. Sad, what a sad league. Just played two mirror ish type matches where my opponents had perfect hands and my hands were garbage. So obviously, we lost both of those. And our other ones, our opponents had to have a whole lot, you know, like our. The first loss, our opponent had to have, you know, like, well, they didn't have to, but they had the, the three uh, black market merchants and all three pilfered goods. They had all of those in their top, like, you know, 15, 18 cards. And uh, stole, you know, single combats and my one concerted strike. Stealing my concerted strike kept my Callista from transforming. Like, I don't have much removal in my deck for, like, a, for like a Callista, but they, they were stealing my removal. And I was just drawing, like, some extra allies that weren't doing anything I don't have that many spells but they just kept stealing them and then of course yeah that karma Lux. I I didn't think we were losing that f for most of the game but oh well all right well we got a, a donation deck to play up next Lee Brom I don't think this is a bad deck it's just it was a really sad league basically you know like if you just look at any snapshot of five games you can have some things that um uh, you know that, that happened. Oh, I was yeah. So it's probably it's probably because I didn't change the pet, did I? Because I was kind of on tilt and I didn't change the pet. That's probably why I, I didn't do well. Um. All right, but that's it here for Tomasia's sacrifice. So, um, those y'all watch on YouTube, uh, please still hit that like button. Please leave those comments. Those things really do help, and hope hope uh, you still check out the deck. All right, but thanks so much for watching, though, and I'll see you for the next video.